Good evening. You're watching the late news on HK IBC. I'm Karen Yang, and here are tonight's top stories. Not so sweet budget reviewed by Financial Secretary Paul Chan today. Public health sector gets a massive cash injection by government to address manpower shortage. And budget surplus nearly three times less than last year. Financial Secretary Paul Chan unveiled his budget for 2019 to 2020 today, which included $150 billion worth of initiatives. Many people listened carefully for any sweeteners he would give out, but the ones that he did were smaller than before due to a much smaller government surplus. The cover of this year's budget speech was light green in color. Chen explained earlier that the color choice represented Hong Kong facing economic uncertainties and hard work was needed to make a good harvest from the fertile soil. The finance chief announced today that the fiscal surplus would drop to $58.7 billion from $149 billion last year. Chief Executive Carrie Lam said the budget proved that the government was willing to invest in the city's future. But critics said it lacked vision and creativity. We begin with HK IBC's Riley Chen taking a look at the sweeteners that were revealed by the financial secretary. Paul Chen's budget had the usual sweeteners in it this year, but they were not as sweet as before. Around 1.91 million taxpayers will benefit from a 75 percent reduction in salaries tax, the same as last year. But the ceiling will be lowered from $30,000 to $20,000. This will reduce tax revenue by $17 billion. Property owners will have raised waived for all four quarters, with a ceiling of $1,500 per quarter. The measure is expected to benefit 3.29 million properties at a cost of $15 billion to the government. Business owners will also receive a 75% profits tax refund kept at $20,000. Business registration fees will also be waived for some 1.4 million business operators, reducing government revenue by $2.9 billion. Last year, Social Security recipients got an extra two months of allowance on top of other relief measures targeting the grassroots. But given this year's much smaller fiscal surplus, recipients of comprehensive Social Security assistance, old age allowance, old age living allowance, working family allowance, work incentive transport subsidy, and the disability allowance will only receive one extra month's subsidy. The move will cost the government $4 billion. The financial chief was asked whether Hong Kongers should expect smaller sweeteners in future budgets. Chen said he did not want to speculate. Whether in the future, uh sweeteners will be getting smaller and smaller. That I'm not sure. That really depends on uh, also our financial uh, position at that time. Um, depending on economic situation, the forecast surplus of the government in the coming years seems to be not as big as before. An additional $1,000 worth of elderly health care vouchers will be provided and the accumulation limit will be raised from $5,000 to $8,000. That will cut government revenue by over $1 billion. While F3 Sweetener seems to have shrunk this year, one got a boost. Chen said the government would provide each student in need a one-off grant of $2,500 to support learning, up $500 from last year. It will also continue to pay examination fees for all students sitting the 2020 DSE exam. Chen believed the $150 billion worth of initiatives and funding announced in this year's budget will support enterprises, safeguard jobs, stabilize the economy, and strengthen livelihoods. Riley Chen, HKIBC. The public health care sector will get a massive cash injection to address the manpower shortage crisis. Finance Minister Paul Chen will be pumping in $80.6 billion, a 10.9 percent increase from last year. The recent winter flu surge put enormous pressure on public hospital workers, which sparked rare protests. The rush of patients, coupled with a manpower shortage and aging facilities, pushed frontline health care staff to the brink. This spurred Financial Secretary Paul Chan to announce a massive expenditure of $80.6 billion on public health care services in 2019 to 2020 in his budget today. 